Next bit then, we're going to go through Arc and Combine. So just to point out, happy photo, as always. Yeah, you'll probably never see a photo of me smiling. Phil's just said there's markers on the floor, but they've put black on black, so it's a bit difficult to say. Right, anyway, um, quick apology, first of all, for the voice. Not the Birmingham accent, because I can't do anything about that. So it's just a little bit rough. Um, Friday, I contracted quite a serious case of man flu. Saturday and Sunday was quite touch and go, but luckily managed to get over it. So, Right, so a little bit of history first. My name's Matt Ford, so I and I can combine. We're going to talk about the integration with um, my PT hub, um, how it went, what we've done, the reasons for it, et cetera, et cetera. So first off, my PT hub, all the new stuff, really cool, yes? Um, and we wanted to basically get onto that system to be able to en enhance the kind of journey that PTs go on when they talk about fitness. Because Jamie's talked a lot about making people be uh, better, bigger, faster, fitter, stronger, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Ollie talked about things like the framework and improving the framework, getting up to date with the framework, getting qualifications up to date, and all those things as well. So that was kind of a personal mission from my side, was that I wanted to answer the question, how fit am I? So, true story, only last week, um, down at Gymshark's new uh, facility, their new lifting club, um, talking to one of the guys, not going to name who it is, but he's got a deadlift. So he comes in and he, we're in the changing room, uh, typical conversation, changing room, and he goes, yeah, I've just deadlifted 250. Great, yeah? And then he starts to kind of go a little bit and extend on that and talks about the fact that uh, last week it was 245, but he weighed, uh, sorry, last month it was 245, he weighed 90 kilo, uh, so this week he's just PB'd and he's got 250 kilo deadlift and he's now weighing 101 kilo, yeah? So my response to that was, you, you do realise that you're weaker today than you were before, yeah? And his response was, no, 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 I lifted more. No, no, you put more weight on the bar, true, you lifted more, but you're weaker than you were before, okay? Does this make sense? Your power to weight ratio is worse now than it was before, okay? And this is one of the things that's gonna lead into the answering that question. Every single person, client of a PT, needs to understand how fit they are, but we have no way of quantifying it, or very like, little way of quantifying it. So I went about figuring out how to answer that question. So, a little bit of history. Um, I started off as a PT for six or seven months, hated it, yeah, didn't really get along with it very much, wasn't really kind of my bag. My bag was more about performance because I was more about the mindset of, okay, how do I actually make people improve and what's their performance and uh, how good are they or uh, how can I quantify that, yeah. It wasn't really the face-to-face -face online kind of system uh, and the PT kind of side that I wanted to do. So. I went about how to answer that question and, and create a system by how to do that. Um, and how I did that was to look at how you measure someone, how you evaluate, and how you improve their performance. So how that works is that when you measure someone's uh, ability, we have to look at how you measure them. So is it valid, is it reliable, and is it a repeatable method? And what a lot of people don't do is they don't fulfill those criteria when they test someone. And also, we have a tendency that we're using fitness tests from years ago. So we're still talking about things like a bleep test, or we're still talking about things like a one rep max squat, which is just looking at load lifted. And the big thing that you do is the same guy that uh, did the deadlift, we're just going to pack weight on someone and get a personal best just because someone's putting more weight on or someone's running faster. We A, increase their risk of injury because we're just packing more weight on them, and B, we're actually not taking into account any of the other features or any of the other parts associated with that person. Their height, their weight, their age, their gender, their nutrition. And all of the things that my PT Hub offer now, things like nutritional tracking, holistic approach to fitness, the whole journey yeah, is basically geared towards figuring out how fit someone is, telling them how fit they are, improving them, keeping them as a client, getting results, and therefore extending the, the lifespan of the client. So then we need to evaluate, so we evaluate based on things like height, age, weight, and gender. What we did is we took this to a different level. So we took this to a whole new level to basically say that we could look at, um, in comparison, two different people um, and actually evaluate their performance. Now I call this floors and ceilings, so I'm gonna explain this really, really quickly, yeah? 
If you deadlift tomorrow in the gym or squat, you have a floor and a ceiling to your performance, okay? Your floor is the minimum that you should be able to do and your ceiling is the maximum that we would expect you to be able to do at your height, your wage, your age and your gender, okay? Where you sit in between those two markers is how fit you are currently at that particular component, okay? Make sense? Cool. If I then get somebody else next to you and get them to do it, exactly the same movement pattern. They'll be a different age, different height, different weight, different gender. They'll have a different floor and a different ceiling. And if they sit here between their floor and ceiling and you sit here in yours, they are fitter or better at that than you. They are performing that movement pattern or that different exercise or whatever it is better than you, okay? Even if you're lifting more load on the bar, their performance is better, okay? And we need to start understanding that as a concept. And then you improve by programming, tracking, nutrition, and management. So all of the things that my PT hub offer, yeah, we wanted to be basically, uh, basically say, all of those features within my PT hub allow you to therefore program someone, consider their nutrition, look at their uh, nutrition in terms of their power to weight ratio, track them, all of those things. But fundamentally, the start of this journey is you need to understand how fit you are first. Okay, and that was the answer. That was the question that I wanted to kind of answer. Um, something came up on something not that long ago, and it said, um, "It's probably Instagram," but it said, um, "A training session, regardless of a training session, any session that I do and you do and everybody else does, they're exactly the same. They all have a start point and they all have a finish point. Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's what happens in the middle of those two points that's important. Yeah, and that's programming. And the more information you can get before you start to do programming." the better, okay? So that's where we come from. Um, complement, don't compete. So our mission was really that we wanted to complement um, lots of different things within the fitness industry. So Simspa, we wanted to make sure that we complemented the new fitness um, qualification framework. We wanted to complement platforms, i.e. my PT hub. We didn't want to compete, yeah? I had never any interest in kind of going, okay, let's look at how we can create a system similar to my PT hub. They do it better, yeah? They've got a better background in it. But what I wanted to do is create something that can uh, complement those different systems and give PTs an actual um, solidified way of testing, create a, a valid way of testing someone, understand fitness, and therefore be able to use different features to be able to um, program and everything else as well from there. Cool. So the stages of the integration that we went through with my PT hub, I'm going to explain this because it's quite important. So Phil talked about the fact that um, they have this open API and they want to integrate with people and things like that. So we wanted to just put forward about our little journey through the integration and, and kind of how it works. Uh, and the first part was deciding who. So I kind of covered that a little bit briefly and said that we needed to look at the fact that we wanted to influence everybody. The biggest thing in fitness is we're slow to turn. Yeah, fitness is like an oil tanker that's just on one journey and it's traveling in the same direction and you try and turn it, it's really difficult to do that. I owned an education company for 13 years. Um, I was Hammer Strengths Global Academy trainer uh, into performance and those sort of things. It's really hard to influence fitness, yeah, especially from a kind of global level. So we had to look at deciding who to integrate with in the first place and we just looked at strength of market, we looked at um, the trainers that they'd got on, we looked at the influence that they'd got, we knew uh, Phil uh, previously and we knew what his plan was for my PT hub and everything else as well. So we looked at all of those different factors and said, where can we get the most influence from? Because ultimately we need to get PTs, we need to get new PTs, existing PTs, coaches and everybody else understanding there's a better way to do fitness than they're currently doing and therefore this is it, okay? So that was how we decided to do that. Where was the fit? So um, they have an amazing product. We already knew that. We knew what was coming, so it, we kind of fit right in that niche. And all we wanted to do was give the start point. So all I wanted to do was be able to go, here's your start point. Here's how you can, how you can analyze your clients. Here's how you can tell them how fit they are. You do the rest. Yeah, okay? I'm not going to tell you how to program. I'm not going to tell you how to do things because everybody does things differently. The start point of your exercise session, your end point, the same. You come into the gym, you start, you go home, you do something else. It's what happens in the middle. But that's the trainer's job. Yeah? Our job is to just tell you the state of that person that you're training in the first place and you go and do the programming to improve them. Okay? UX, UI, where did we fit in? Were we just going to be uh, an add-on or were we going to be part of it? Was it an innovative approach or not? 
that was one of the big keys that we really started to look within uh, the whole journey of my PT hub. The tech bit. So the tech bit was quite easy in some ways. Um, we just had to look at uh, our technology and their technology. That there wasn't a compromise, uh, there wasn't a compete or anything in that sort of side of it, uh, and that was quite easy as well. So the fun bit was seeing the PTs use it. Um, since we launched, we, did, we actually did a big launch in Birmingham. Um, a lot of you guys know uh, me and, and were at the launch as well. So we actually did a big launch in Birmingham in May. May. Um, since then, we've had over 5,000 trainers sign up to the site globally from US to uh, UK to Europe, South Africa, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, some of those have channeled obviously through my PT hub, which is great. So we've it's given us a great sort of testing brand, uh, testing ground to look at how we can use it. Um, we've got loads of feedback from their clients as well about um, what features to put in and what features to take out and things like that as well. Um, the putting up with Ryan bit. Anybody that knows Ryan within my PT hub will understand that comment. Uh, the one thing to not do with Ryan is anything to do with owls. He's got a big thing with owls. Yeah, um, Don't take him for a drink. You will seriously regret that Yeah, because he can drink way more than anybody else. Um, but no, seriously, one of the big things about my PT hub that we've actually really enjoyed along the way is the people in it. Yeah. Phil's really cool. Yeah, Phil understands the market. He understood where he wanted to go with it. He understood. Uh, he understood. Understand it. That was terrible. Um, he understood uh, the features that we were trying to do and what we wanted to get across. Then you've got Massive Lewis as well, obviously in the background, who um, looked at all the integration and helped us and everything else from that. So from our result, this has been brilliant for us because it's given us a platform. It's given us the trainers that we really wanted to be able to impact. Um, and it's got, kind of guided us, I guess, in, in the way that we wanted to develop the platform as well. So what it's meant to work, uh, what it's meant for us, greater reach, obviously, greater exposure. Collaborations is brilliant. Um, the events that we've done with them and, and the events coming up as well, and obviously the innovation side as well. I'm kind of brushing over this because basically the food's come yeah, as well, so I'm quite hungry yeah, and desperately dehydrated. So I am brushing over this, but I'm but um, obviously me and Phil have just thoughts as well. So what's in it for you? So if you're a PT or you've got access um, and you're looking at integration with my PT hub like we have, um, you'll get access to the most comprehensive platform on the market. You've seen the features. What we're going to be doing a lot more with them is looking at how the features um, dictate the performance. Yeah. So like I've just said, one of the biggest things that we look at is we look at fitness in a way of power to weight ratio in particular. Yeah. So one of the big keys that we've got is if you squat or if you deadlift or if you bent, uh, uh, bench or you push press and those sort of things, we need to start looking at the holistic uh, view of that person yeah, and look at everything around that result, not just the load that's been put onto them all the time. So as a PT, we can feed back to our clients now. We can say, right, okay, your current power to weight ratio is this. yeah. To get to your next point, we need to add on 10 kilo to your lift. Yeah, that's going to take you into a whole new tier of performance. And to do that, we can look at two ways now instead of one. Instead of just racking more weight onto your bar and getting you to squat more, which increases the risk of injury and all of those different stress points within the body, what we can do is we can actually start to look at um, the whole holistic view of it and say, right, do you have unusable weight on your body? Yes, you're carrying probably four or five kilo more than you should be. So let's track your nutrition. Let's look at your food intake. Let's look at all of that side. Let's lose the five or six kilo. You don't therefore then have to actually lift anymore, but your performance is way better than it was. That's a result. That's a tick in the box. You think I'm the best coach in the world online, face to face. I will pay you more money. Yeah, okay. This is not, this is not rocket science, yeah? They only want results, okay? And we want results out of... Um, performance markers. Yeah, if you can make someone look better, yeah, all the way through, at a reduced risk of injury, not worrying about putting too much stress upon the body, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then that's where we get those results from. Support from the tech um, to talking through to get the most out of the platform. Added features, so they're always evolving. You've seen that from everything that they've got uh, so far. The compliance bit is really cool as well, yeah, um, and I think that kind of leads again into some of the features that we're adding as well. Added value for your PTs and your business as a whole. Reach, who else you can reach, and the insight into personal training market and what they do, and then again working with Ryan. Yeah, we love Ryan, really, to be fair. Ryan's great. So, we don't always integrate, but when we do, we do it right, okay? So, this is pretty much the conclusion of this little section, that 
we'd already got an established kind of system. We'd already got this model of how we wanted to test fitness. We wanted to be able to give someone a real ability to be able to understand their fitness, answer that question of how fit I am, and understand the process in order to be able to say, right, here's you, here's a snapshot of you. Here's your aerobic ability, your anaerobic ability, all of those, um, your general fitness, your strength, your relative strength, and all of those things. We were really clear in we've partnered with some of the best people in the world to be able to do it. When we first started, everybody asked and said, how do you make sure that the criteria that you're using is solid? So we said, okay, if I tell you how to do a squat, you're just going to come back at me and say, who are you to tell me how to do a squat? I can tell you my background. I can say I was with hammer strength. I was with life fitness. I've traveled all over the shop, blah, 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 blah. But that doesn't put me at a state of um, superiority or seniority against anybody else. So what we did is we went to things like um, organizations like national governing bodies, British rowing, British weightlifting, what by Woodway, Concept 2, all of those different people say, right, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna say to someone, I want you to do a squat or I want you to do a row, who are the best people to learn off? So you'll see on the platform that all of our videos are fully endorsed by, they have the athletes um, with the likes of British rowing and British weightlifting and all of that to make sure that we solidified the fact that we had the very best criteria to be able to learn from and the very best kind of video structures and the very best uh, kind of products that we had. And actually, there's another company in the room that have actually approached us recently and said, your videos are far beyond the resources um, that are out there currently, and can we actually embed them into our educational platform? That, for me, is one of the best things that I've heard all year. Yeah, Because if somebody comes back to you and says, your video stuff is that good, yeah, and the graphics and everything else, because we want to teach our trainers to be able to do that, that's a great uh, kind of story for us, yeah? So we went through that process, we developed it, we'd already kind of got it, we wanted to partner with someone and solidify that kind of relationship, and that is exactly what we did with my PT Hub. They've been great to work with, we kind of know where we're going, we've got lots of different avenues and stuff like that as well, but mainly what we really want to do is we want to get this out there, we want to support all the PTs, we want to give them this process to be able to understand fitness a lot more, be able to test with a reliable, repeatable, manageable method, yeah, and then use all the features and functionality that you've seen um, within my PT Hub, PT Hub, sorry, to improve their kind of client journey, get results, and therefore get more money. Yeah, cool. Really quickly, any questions on Arc and Combine in testing in general and that sort of thing? If there's not, don't worry, because then we can just get straight into food. We'll be circulating around anyway and that sort of thing as well, so afterwards. So if there's no kind of direct questions or whatever, then we can knock it on the head there and go and get some food. Cool? Great.